When children become more confident and competent with their multiplying, we can move on to short multiplication. So for example, with the 23 times by 7, we write the 23 on the top and multiply this all by 7. We then start with the least significant digit, looking at 3 times 7 and know that that's 21. So we write a 1 in the units and carry the two tens. We now look at 20 times by 7. Because we know that two sevens are 14, 20 times by 7 is 140, plus the 20 that's carried, we write 160, carrying the 100 and writing a 6 in the tens. We now look at the hundreds, we've no hundreds to multiply by, so we just carried the 100 at the bottom, which gives us an answer of 161. So 23 times by 7 is equal to 161. With short multiplication for the question 236 times by 4, we write out the 236 on the top row, which we then multiply by 4. We start in the least significant digit column and start with 6 times 4, which we should know are 24. We write that as a 4 in the units and carry two tens to the tens column. We now look at 30 times by 4. Because we know three fours are 12, 30 times 4 is 120, plus the 20 carried is 140, which we write as a 100, carried to the column for the hundreds, and 4 in the tens for the 40. We now look at 200 times by 4. Because we know that two fours are 8, 200 times by 4 are 800, add on the 100 carried, that becomes 900. Therefore, we write a 9 in the hundreds column. And so 236 times by 4 is equal to 944. With the question 42 times by 36, we write the 42 on the top row and then multiply it all by 36. We start off, first of all, working on the least significant digits. So we do 2 times 6, which is 12, which we write as a 2 in the units, then carry 1 for the 10 into the tens column. We now look at 40 times 6, knowing that 4 sixes are 24, so 40 times 6 is 240, plus the 10 carried is 250, which we write as a 5 in the tens and a 2 in the hundreds, crossing out the 1 10 carried. We now look at all the question where it's multiplying by the tens on the bottom row. So we start off with 2 times the 30, which we know are 60 because 2 threes are 6. So 2 times 30 is 60, which we write as a 6 in the tens and a 0 in the units. We now look at 4 times 3, which is 12, but we're actually doing 40 times 30. These are both 10 times bigger. So 40 times 30 is 1,200. We've got no carries here, so we write that as 1 in the thousands and a 2 in the hundreds. We now look to add these two rows together. So we put our add at the side. We add the least significant digits, so 2 plus 0 is 2. 50 plus 60 is 110. So we write a 100 carried to the hundreds column and a 1 in the tens column. We now look at 200 plus 200, which is 400, plus 100 carried is 500, that we write as a 5 in the hundreds column. And finally, we look at the 1,000 added to nothing, which is 1,000, which we write as a 1 in the thousands column. Therefore, 42 times 36 is equal to 1,512. With the question 234 times by 17, we first write the 234 on the top line and then multiply this all by 17. Once again, we start with the least significant digits, looking initially at 4 times 7, which are 28, which we write as an 8 in the units and 2 carried to the tens. 
We now look at 30 times 7. We should know that 3 7s are 21, so 30 7s are 210, plus the 20 carried is 230. Right, this is a 2 in the hundreds and a 3 in the tens, crossing out the carry that we've used. We now look at 2 times the 7, but we're actually doing 200 times 7. We know that 2 7s are 14, so 200 times 7 is 1,400, plus the 200 carried is 1,600, which we write as a 1 in the thousands and a 6 in the hundreds, crossing out the 2 hundreds that we've carried. We now look at multiplying all the 234 by the number in the tens column. We start off with 4 times 10, which is 40, which we write as a 4 in the tens and nothing in the units. We now look at 30 times 10, knowing that 3 tens are 30, 30 tens are 300, and we've nothing carried. So we write that as a 3 in the hundreds. We now look at 200 times by 10. We know that 2 tens are 20, so 200 tens are 2,000, which we write as a 2 in the thousands. We're now going to add together these two rows. We place our add at the side. We start with the units. We've got 8 units plus 0, which are 8. We've now got 30 plus 40, which is 70, which we write as a 7 in the tens. We've got 600 plus 300, which is 900, which we write as a 9 in the hundreds. And we've got 1,000 plus 2,000, which is 3,000, which we write as a 3 in the thousands. Therefore, 234 times by 17 is 3,978.